Now we walk, and we keep walking until we find a Jedi. Padawan, why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? A mock? No, I am just uh, not a Padawan. Bastila, I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But That's kind of true. You, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi <sighs> Order is not a subject for jokes. I'm telling you the truth. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Yeah, yeah, you too, crazy lady. Gosh. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastion. Yes. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. Thank I you. I am Shah, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, of course. Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Yeppers peppers. Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order Coruscant. is Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Ah, what do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. Oh, yeah. We are considering you for Jedi training. Oh, yeah. Big Chad Kevin Bacon becomes Jedi. Nothing would give me greater honor than learning the ways of the Jedi and the Sith. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of She's your yell. strong affinity to the Watch. Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Yelling. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within She's this blurry. man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's uh. companion, though it is wild uh. and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Yeah. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? I am ready to accept the training. Of course, great Jedi will learn your ways and follow the light. That is the dumbest thing to say, but I will do try my best, even though we all know because Yoda said that it, is, that it is, so it must be true. There is no try, only do or do not. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. Oh, As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. The Deliberations of the Jedi. That's the episode title. Ooh. Why do I sleep in my clothes? Like my armor. Why do, why do I do that? The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? 
Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did. did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Okay. Let's go. You got it. Karth, because he's my brother. And Zalmbar, because he's a Chad. Two Chads in a pod. That's what we are. That's what we've always been. Hello, everybody. It's me, John Robotic Gold, whichever you prefer. We're back at it with another Knights of the Old Republic video. Karth wanted to talk, so let's do that. Yes, what's on your mind? I want to discuss things with you. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? Well, our conversation didn't end very well last time. You know. <laughs> You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. All right. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. And what exactly are you watching me for? I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I, well, it won't happen again. That's all. Of course it won't happen. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personally. Well, I'm beginning if you're able to be able of trusting people of anybody. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. Well, that's very nice to know. Then I'll stop talking to you. I called you my brother in the last episode. But, but now I see how I see the just a jerk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that sells that, I guess. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't well, have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. If I am supposed to have you on my team, then I am supposed to be able to trust you. Don't you understand that? If I can't un if I can't trust you other than trusting you to not trust me, then I can't trust you to trust me at all. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. Yeah. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there. Uh, yeah, they seem to be searching for something. I don't really know what it was. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. Okay, then. So I'm having visions now, is that what's going on? It's kind of weird, kind of strange if you ask me, you know, it's a little weird. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student. But rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead. We cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us. Together. Are you saying I'm joined with her? Because, like, ew, that's kind of weird. I don't see us, like, is it like a, like a metaphorical force? Siamese something or others? You know, is that what's going on? Because it's kind of weird. I don't like it. Okay. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. Well, do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. Oh, the way man. of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? 
Look, man. Look, man. Look, 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 look. Here's the thing. Here's the freaking thing. I will do as much light side on this planet as I can. But as soon as I'm off, I'm going back to normal. Going back to the swapping it up, swapping it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, whatever. Understand that there is little choice in this matter for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith L. hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark mm. side. Giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, the Dark Lord. Double L. That's what I gotta say to that. Double L. Doubly L. So, how can he be stopped? Perhaps our hope lies in the dream you and Bastilla shared. The Council has come to the conclusion that you and Bastilla must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Perhaps there you will find some clue. Some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Okay, but... Okay, whatever. I'm ready. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you're willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Okay. Sure, why not, fake Yoda? We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited. And your progress, amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. Okay, so what should I do? In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. A thousand generations, how many? Someone put in the comments how many people that would be, and how long it would take to be a thousand. Like how many years it would be. Do, th do that for me. Down there. Because it's not a thousand years. It's a thousand generations. So that's like 20 times a thousand. Right? Which is 200,000. I guess that's how many years it would be. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, wait, no. I got, I got my math right. Never mind. Okay, I'm ready for the test. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to padawan, 
and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. I got this one down. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. I got you, mate. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, excuse me. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable. So I'm gonna skip that. I'm ready to continue my training. Soon your okay, whatever. I don't care. I'm ready. These tests will see it first. You must now prove you have a there is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. Serenity or is it harmony? No, it's serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. I know the the Sith code better. There is no death. There is the force. You have learned your studies well, Apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, awesome. you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. Yay. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber Yay. is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade right. is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber with his own hands. And now okay. it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not sure which, which, I mean, there, let's go over to this thing. Welcome, Kevin Bacon, as one recently uh, accepted for the training here at the Academy. It is important you... Okay, so, yeah, look, the Jedi Guardian has the uh, blah, 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 focus on uh, forces of evil. They focus on combat and training and masterful use of the lightsaber. I'm not sure if I want to do that. See, that, that stuff right there is... Pr the vitality is pretty good. The, the slow skill progression is kind of annoying, but the fast feet progression is pretty nice. Then there's the Sentinel, Jedi Sentinel, Ferret out. Fret? Ferret? Is that, would that be Ferret? Fair et. Out. Deceit. And injustice bringing them to light. They strike a balance between the physical and mental disciplines of the Jedi Order. So it's like the middle ground, I think. Yeah, 8 vitality, 6 force points, level average skill progression, slow feet progression though, and I could not deal with slow feet progression. Let's see, when the guardian, I just did the guardian, counselor, seek to bring balance to the universe, they focus less on physical combat and more on mental disciplines in order to augment their mastery of the force. Low, so both would be low on that, and it's not like we're going for a full like Jedi Guardian thing on that. So I may want to try and go for the, for this one because I do think that my character is a more of a skillful build rather than a offensive build. So we're definitely gonna go with that. We'll talk to see. Look, look. I think I was talking about that. Bastila is like invisible over here or something. What the heck? Where is Where is Bastila even? Like isn't she usually like right there? If you have questions, you should see, me toward And it's because of the Sith armor that she's invisible like that. She's right here. She's right here. Oh my gosh. I I it took me years to find out about some of these glitches that you could do in this game. Uh, and I did it on my own. Come, young. Apprentice at Master Zar's bidding. Yes, he indeed. Promise in you, as do I. As do I. Has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the order. Now, here's what I think. What I should do is that I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna go for a more of a. A sentinel build, but I am going to answer his questions truthfully, truthfully. Because, I don't know, it feels better. What positions are there? Blue, we just did yellow, this. Is the color green, is the 
So I want to be a sentinel. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They are menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Uh, so, help them flee? Stop the idiot and find out why they're attacking her. Quite honestly, I just kill the thugs. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Uh, try to see his weakness. Yeah, I'd probably start seeing what force abilities or or skills that I could use on him. So yeah, I'd try to see his weakness. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Uh, smash the door, try to pick the lock. I have security, right? Yeah, I'd probably try to pick the lock. Knock. No. Try to pick the lock. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a I'm not. <laughs> about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Well, I uh, coordinate with the planetary government to identify the infiltrators. What does that do? You know who they are now. Yay. I guess you could find out what they might be hunting down. Try to lure them into a trap. That seems like the best thing to do. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would oh. be most suitable as a Jedi Sentinel. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Sentinel. Nice. Yeah, I wouldn't. Here is a yellow crystal for your lightsaber. Cool. Go speak to Master Char like again, and he'll instruct you on in how to construct it. Crystal, I think. This the yellow crystal is like the most lame of them all. Finally. Okay, this is great. I finally get to level up. Oh my gosh, that has been, it's been so long. So, so long since the beginning of the series. Today's the day we finally get to level up. I'll be back. Because it's going to take a really long time. Okay, so I didn't know that we actually don't have any security skill. Like, zero, we have zilch, not a... See, look at this, uh, we go down here, zero security skill. I did not realize that until, well, until like five seconds ago. But, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter in the end. Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Very fun. Very swaggy. Swaggy Baggy. Swaggy and the Baggy. The Baggy is Swaggy. Very good. And then we'll change the color once I get some crystals. To change the color. Wom wom. Ready. What is he using? Mission plus fiber sword? Okay. Sure. Cool. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Aw, oh, thank you. Your crystal you. seems to have been set perfectly. Oh. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. Well, These I'm special. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. Very cool. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Can I, um... Should I know anything else about lightsabers? Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith what dangerous? The Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? Uh, you know. Yeah, you know. You know. 
也是。For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here、okay. on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. Nature. An ancient grove once used for deep meditation by the Jedi is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The、oh, Catholics、no. in the area have become savage and ruthless. What? They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. What's causing the corruption? The Catholics are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey、okay. into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That's not what I asked. Is your task? You know more than you're telling me. Cause I asked you a question and you avoided the answer. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. Lane. None of the other Jedi at the academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice: a Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the Force be with you.